One of the areas of trauma that we talked about today that often isn't acknowledged is societal trauma. Another word for societal trauma is oppression. So recognizing that racism, sexism, heterosexism, able-bodyism can all be uh, traumatizing when we think about the psychological impact for people. And you have to take each of those in their greater context because sometimes you may hear one single event and say, oh, well, this person was called a name or, oh, they were followed by the police or in a store. And by itself, it may sound minor, but it is a cumulative effect of when these things happen time after time after time and the full spectrum that sometimes people also are survivors of hate crimes. And it's important to assess that, to respond with compassion um, and to recognize that even when a trauma is not physical, it can still be traumatizing um, and helping people to heal. And we can't heal it if we don't acknowledge it. And then one of the distinctions that we raised as well is it's not only helping people cope, but also helping people with resistance. How do I uh, resist even internalizing oppression? Um, and internalized oppression is when you come to believe the things that people have said about you or about your community. And you have to really actively work against uh, not taking that in.